Hey everybody, this is Captain Chemo, and this is my very first video tutorial for Captain Chemo members. And in this video, I am going to cover how I process this photo. Now, this is just on the processing of this image. I wanted to do a video on capturing the photo and going over camera settings and stuff like that, but I've decided not to. I'll do that in a later time. I wanted to get this video out by the end of this month. And with that said, let's uh, go over what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to show you the exposures that we're going to use. We're going to use four exposures. This is the first one. This, um, the first three exposure that we're going to use is for the moon only. And we're going to take those three exposures and uh, tone map it in Photomatics Pro. So we're going to take this exposure. This is the even exposure. This is the under exposure. And we're going to use this for the detail here in the moon. And this is the overexposure, and we're going to use this uh, exposure for the uh, the colors in the clouds. So we're going to use these three exposures here to create this one exposure in Photomatics. And once we get this exposure, we're going to merge it with another exposure, and that would be this exposure, which is evenly lit. And we're going to take that, and we're going to merge it with the uh, with the tone mapped image to get to get this image so we're gonna bring bring them all together to get this image right here these two exposures to get this one exposure right here now once we get this exposure we're gonna save this as a PSD file and we're gonna take this into photomatics and we're gonna tone map it and when we tone map it we're gonna get this image it's a little intense but we're gonna take this image and merge it back in with that image and we're we're going to do that just for the color only, so we'll give it a little bit more of a pop, and what we'll get is we'll get this photo. Now, once we once we get here, I'm going to show you how to do the merging and all that stuff in Photoshop Elements, and then we're going to take it into Lightroom, and we're going to get this photo, which is our final image. So with that said, let's uh, get started. <laughs> 